This Pioneer Field Agronomist, Scott Everskirt, an April 2nd agronomy update. Uh, this will be the first for 2018. We'll probably look at staying on a bi-weekly basis until we get a crop planted in the ground, hopefully here in a few weeks. Uh, at that time, we'll probably go to a more weekly basis. So as we think about the crop we got in the ground right now, for most of us, would be the wheat crop. Um, the wheat crop looks pretty good overall, considering what it came through this past winter. With not a lot of snow cover and some cold temps. has rebounded very well. Has really gotten some decent early growth this spring with the temperature we had in February. Uh, but right now through the month of March, really kind of slowed down and just kind of setting there. Now, make no mistake, this wheat is basically sitting there ready to explode in growth. So once we get some warmer temperatures and we get some sunshine, this wheat is going to take off extremely fast. So as you think about a couple things that need to be happen to that, uh, from a herbicide application standpoint, not a lot of wheat got sprayed with maybe Harmony, products like that, but some acres did. But again, you're going to want to apply Harmony to actively growing weeds uh, in a wheat crop prior to the flag leaf coming out. That's kind of where the label stops on Harmony. As you think about Palisade and some of the growth regulators, again, a fairly tight window on application looking at a FEX 4 to 7 on Palisade and really don't want to make any applications later than that um, based on what the, the label restrictions are. So again, watch the labels closely as you look at growth regulators or herbicides on wheat. From a nitrogen standpoint, you know, a lot of the nitrogen has been applied to the wheat crop. Again, at the growth stage we're at around a FEC 6, we're going to see about uh, as much as 75 to 80 percent of that nitrogen uptake is going to happen between now and heading. So you want to make sure your, your nitrogen applications are fulfilling the requirements of that plant. Now, one question I have gotten here in the last couple of weeks with all the rain is how much of my nitrogen have I lost potentially in the wheat fields? Basically running the models, what we're seeing is probably on the max side, maybe around 8 to 10 percent at the most. In a lot of cases, probably even a little less than that. So I think if we're on the medium to higher side of our application rates, meaning spring rates of 100 to 120 pounds, we're probably in pretty good shape. If we're on the lower side of that going in, maybe at only 80 or 90 pounds or a little less, and when we start losing 8 to 10 percent, uh, that could put us in a position that maybe could be a little short on the wheat crop. So kind of depending on where we're at, but for the most part, probably okay on nitrogen loss in wheat. As you think about corn and beans, uh, not a lot going on. Probably this is a good time to go back and kind of recheck your positioning on your products. Uh, talk to the respective companies. You know, many of these products were maybe purchased back in October or November. Make sure you get the positioning right. Uh, position these products for the best chance of success in 2018. Probably the last thing I'll talk about on this message is probably thinking about safety. So as uh, we all know, when the sun shines, we're going to have a lot of tractors going up and down the road. And we all know that in the society we live in today, someone runs into you, uh, whether it's your fault or not. In most cases, it won't be. Um, the first thing they're going to check are all your safety appliances, meaning lights, SMV signs, things like that. So it's a good time as you, as you drive that tractor past the shop one more time, make sure the lights are working, make sure all the implements, make sure all the lights are flashing, and SMV signs are up to date. Definitely rather be uh, safe than sorry from that standpoint. And again, this is the first, uh, first video of 2018, and we will uh, likely continue, like I said, on a biweekly basis until we get a crop going and in the ground and probably continue on a weekly basis. As always, if you have any questions, please contact your local Pioneer sales rep. Thanks.